Hello everybody, my name is Scott Staples. Uh, I live currently in Vancouver, Washington, and I am my, I'm non-denominational. I was the raised in the church that my dad was the pastor of. He was raised Baptist and practiced in the Baptist tradition, and then ended up being charismatic somehow. I don't, so I don't really know what I am. Um, if the uh, video gets to be a little weird, my phone is really acting up and the camera on my computer is disabled, so don't know what's going on there either. But anyway, um, as for how I view my vocation, um, I'm actually in the process of kind of figuring that out right now. Uh, I had a pretty clear call to ministry uh, where God told me to be a pastor of a church. Um, and the more I go... The more I go through education and stuff like that, I wonder um, if that's specifically what my call was for. Um, <clears throat> so I I am currently right now in my um, chaplaincy residency uh, at a hospital uh, in Portland right across the river. And um, I have been interested in the concepts of death and dying and mental illness and ministering those in such situations for quite some time. Um, and so I'm wondering if God is telling me that that can be the pastor that he's calling me to. So I actually have um, a group of <coughs> friends throughout my cyber relationships i mean i actually know these people they're not just like people in chat rooms but um i started a clearness committee with them uh in a kind of augmented version of the quaker quaker tradition they're praying for me right now to help me discern that uh, that started a couple weeks ago so that's kind of where I view my vocation, I believe that I'm supposed to be in some kind of pastoral ministry, but trying to figure out what that is is the hard part. Um, now, as to the three ethical issues that um, I have interest in, um, I try to... Many of my, my ethical issues have to do with politics or political leanings. Um, but I try, and I fail sometimes, but I try uh, to take the advice I give to others. Um, and that is to let the way you read the Bible and your theology shape your politics, not let your politics shape your theology or the way you read the Bible. Um, so with that being said, I, I realize that I don't live in a vacuum. I, <clears throat> I mean, there are different um, things that come into play when talking about these things. But I, I I try to think of myself as a Christian, first and foremost, and a, uh, a citizen of some place, secondly. So as a Christian, in this particular context, um, being the United States of America, um, I, ha I the, th the three things that come to mind are immigration, when I look at our immigration policy, not even like recently, just like how hard it is to get into this country um, traditionally, um, and we're a Christian country, whatever that means. Um, I think it's unbiblical the way we do it. Um, that's one thing. Uh, and then also... Um, the way this country has treated the black community, especially with the school to prison pipeline and Reaganomics and um, redlining and <clears throat> all that. And then also just like the, the ripple effect of um, slavery and Jim Crow. Um, I, I don't want to say that I'm woke, 
or anything like that, but I, I have a genuine interest in learning. Uh, my privileged ancestry's part in that and how I can non-superficially help correct it. Um, and then also just my big, my big one is probably, it is just politics. It's, um, it's how, how do we ethically engage in the political arena while trying to maintain our Christian values um, well. Uh, like, I was raised in the moral majority generation. Um, I was brought up in the 80s and 90s. Jerry Falwell, Ronald Reagan, all that kind of stuff. And um, I saw it just blow up in... <coughs> Like, it just left a really bad taste in the mouths of um, non-Christians in this country about how we play the game, essentially. Um, and I think that that has a lot to do with particular political platforms that don't really matter. Um, so those are my three things, and uh, something interesting or fun about me. I can't remember the wording of it. Um, but I collect and draw comics. Um, I have 1,700 comic books in my house. And that's about it. Aaron, Nick, good to see you again. Glad to have class with you. If I forgot anybody that I've had class with again. It's good to see you too. All right, bye.